Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. This week's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be the haul that I just got at the Just Between Friends Kids Consignment Sale. And if you haven't heard of this sale, it's actually a franchise opportunity that got started by the CEO, Shannon Wilburn. And she was just a mom who noticed that her kids were outgrowing clothes faster than they could wear them when they were young. And she just decided to have a little consignment sale out of her house and she made $2,000 off of that sale. So her and her husband started thinking bigger and wondered if they held events twice a year in their area, how that would go. In 2003, they opened it up to franchisees to be able to have the sale in other states as well. And now it is a wildly successful kids consignment sale that not only makes people a ton of money, it also saves people a ton of money as well on their kids clothing and toys and shoes and you name it in case this is the first video you're watching here our girls are five and a half and three and a half right now and they are in the prime age for wearing clothes out growing out of them quickly and potentially getting very expensive but i attend the sale twice a year and i get everything they need for the whole year and i barely spend anything and i'll tell you more about that a little bit later on but I'm gonna put a link in the description that, that leads you to a video that's going to tell you a little bit more about it. It's a news piece that was done about the sale and it's kind of fun to watch it. So I'm gonna link that down below in case you want more information. But for now, I'm gonna get started showing you guys everything I got. I'm gonna tell you how much it costs and I'm going to also tell you what I usually make by selling our girls stuff that they've grown out of at the sale. I'm gonna start with the toys that I got because the girls are upstairs and their room's on the other side of the hallway and I don't want them to hear this. Right now, Anthony's reading them a nighttime story so that they're actually kind of distracted right now. I'm hoping that they don't hear this, but if I'm talking quietly, that's why. Um, the first thing I got, this is for Bailey and I think I might put it in her Easter basket because I think I'm gonna get her a sewing machine for her birthday, but this was $5 and it's a barbie tea set she has been obsessed you guys i'm not even joking she's been obsessed with playing tea party and she's using the little like portion fix um colorful containers from my 21 day fix program because she doesn't have any teacups and she's just so sweet and she makes invitations for us to attend tea with her and she just kind of makes do with what she has so i thought she would really really enjoy this and it's brand new in the package for five dollars can't beat that um, the next thing I got, the girls actually had a bath with bath bombs for the first time this last week and they loved it. So I found these brand new packages of bath bombs for $3 each and I'm going to put them in their Easter baskets as well. So upside down. So there's that one and then the other ones. They both have lavender, cherry blossom, vanilla shea and ocean so they're really gonna enjoy those for sure and then this isn't really so much a toy i mean they've been using it as a toy but i've been needing one of these for homeschooling um bailey has kind of got her numbers down pretty well but quinn's just starting to learn how to put numbers together she can count them very well but putting numbers together so i'm going to use this to help her and, and this was only five dollars as well so that was a really good purchase. I was excited about that one. And then last, this is gonna be Quinn's birthday present. She is obsessed with building things and um, she has this small white bucket full of basically what I'm about to show you, these shapes, but they're tiny and they're really hard to balance. So she tries to build things with them and then gets really frustrated. So, I got her these ones and it is so heavy <laughs> I can't hold it up that high but it was $15 and that's the most expensive thing I bought this time around but for a birthday present that's a really cheap price so I'm excited about that but she'll be able to build a lot better with these so I'm gonna start with Bailey and it is March and the weather is starting to get really nice really quickly here in Western Washington, which is not usual. So we're finding ourselves needing a lot more shorts and short sleeve shirts than we have. So I stocked up on some of those. The first thing I got her were these cute pair of flower shorts 
and they're very very lightweight and flowy and they have this little detailing on the bottom the little balls and they're super cute and two dollars and fifty cents so you can't beat that and they are like new they look like what i would expect a store to carry the next thing i got her i got her two pairs of jeans because she's still in 5t jeans and she has some 5t jeans but they're too short for her so i had to search for ones that are a little bit longer in length but the same size around the waist and both of these have the adjustable waistbands which is definitely crucial for bailey but this is the cat and jack brand <clears throat> and they're just dark jeans brand new for three dollars and fifty cents these ones are actually oshkosh and they were three dollars they're also really nice barely used and that's pretty much everything i'm going to show you so i won't show you close-ups of everything because it really all i didn't buy anything if it didn't look new so i'll just kind of show you and then tell you the price um this is one of my favorites this is new with the tag still on it it was only three dollars and it's a cute little tank top that says love my tribe which i fell in love with that one right away i love glitter so you'll see that as a trend this was the only dress i got her and it was five dollars and it says big sister and she is a big sister no we're not having another little sister but she's a big sister so it's just a cute little very lightweight dress for the summertime The next thing I got her, I, the only thing I was a little bit disappointed in is there weren't a ton of dresses in her size. I'm going to go back again in a couple of days and hopefully there have been more stocked because there's a mid-sale drop-off that people can drop off more items to consign. So I'm hoping to find a couple more dresses for her because they're both really into that right now. But I got her this little bodysuit and it's shorts with the salmon colored um, and white striped pattern on it and that was five dollars as well and then I didn't really realize I got her <laughs> two things that say big sister but I ended up falling in love with this one too this is just a tank top so it'll be nice because she can choose a tank top or a dress and it was five dollars as well new with tags and it has that stripe design on the back and then the last tank top I got her is this cat and jack brand for three dollars and it's super cute and just casual so she can wear it with jean shorts or jeans if it's cooler outside or whatever she wants for that and then quinn just got a new swimsuit because she outgrew hers and bailey's is kind of faded and just kind of looks like it's seen better days so i wanted to get her a new swimsuit and i found this super cute one for four dollars and i love it she loves it too so there's that they both were in need of some cooler pajamas so i got these were the only things i wasn't really too concerned about style because they just wear them to bed but for three dollars i got this three-piece set sunny day sleepy nights it's a tank top it comes with shorts or pants for three dollars and then the other set of pajamas i got her is this dory and nemo set which also have shorts with them i don't know if you can see it's all attached together but those were five dollars and then i got her a few casual shirts to wear this one was two dollars and fifty cents think happy be happy and it's very very lightweight so it'll be perfect for a summer day when there's a breeze i couldn't resist this one it was only a dollar fifty and it says genius on there <laughs> so i had to get that one um, the next thing I got was three dollars and it's this super cute hooded t-shirt and it's like a pale pink color and it has a hood on it as well and the pocket across the front almost like a hoodie but with short sleeves instead. This one also looks absolutely brand new and it was only three dollars and it is, I'm hooked down here, it is a three quarter sleeve. It says shake it up. And then it comes with this little fashion scarf that's actually attached to the shirt up here by the tag. And so I'll probably end up um, using my seam ripper to get, to get that off so she doesn't have to wear it if she doesn't want to. And then for $3, this gray long sleeve shirt with the lace detailing on it. 
and I kind of if you can notice the trend I kind of tried to go for basics that could mix and match with shorts or pants or even skirts if they are the right colors because we try to keep what they have to a minimum and I'm not a big fan of characters on clothes other than like pajamas I try to put them in things that are that are more classic and just can go with anything and can grow with them be so that they don't get tired of certain characters and not want to wear them um, but for two dollars if you're familiar with Western Washington you know that even summertime doesn't necessarily mean warm and not rainy so I got her this long sleeve blue sweater for two dollars and just plain but it is kind of lightweight it's a little bit more thin but it'll be good for like a 70 degree summer day when it's we're used to 90 and it hits 70 and we're kind of cold that day um this is one of my favorite things i got for her and it was only two dollars and fifty cents and it's this super cute hoodie there are ears on it which i didn't even notice until i got it home but that's okay and then it's a fuzzy pink I don't know if you can tell, but it's a fuzzy, warm, pink material. So that'll be perfect. And then my absolute favorite clothing item I got for her. This was $6.50, so it's the most expensive clothing item. But she needed a new fancy coat because her other one, the arms are too short. So I got her this one, and I think it's from Old Navy. Yes, Old Navy. And it's also not super thick, so I think she can wear it even like in the springtime and on cooler summer days. That is all the clothes for Bailey. Um, and then she already has a really nice pair of flip-flops that are like sparkly, stylish flip-flops and then a couple pairs of tennis shoes that, that she just recently got. So I didn't need much for her, but I did want her to have another option for flip-flops. So I grabbed these ones and these were $3.75 and they've never been worn. They're completely brand new, so. Um, and then for $2.50, I got her these sandals. If you can see, so they have the flower detailing. And she used to have these when she was like two years old. And I was so sad when she grew out of them. So I was really excited to find these. And then for $5, I got her these Skechers for playing and going to our softball games during the summer. And all hiking and all that fun stuff and then the last my number one favorite purchase for Bailey for five dollars are these adorable completely new sandals they've never been worn so those were my favorite find for her okay so now for Quinn I'll start with her shoes just because I'm on shoes right now she needed a pair um, of shoes that she can slip on a little easier herself but that are lightweight. So for $1.50, um, I found these memory foam ones. And she can just slip them on. She can take the Velcro off if she needs to, but I don't think she'll even have to. And they're used, but you can see that they're still in very good shape. They look like they were worn a few times, maybe. And then unlike Bailey, she does not have any flip-flops that fit her. And I wanted to get her a couple, so... The first ones I got her are brand new Old Navy ones for $2. And they have the flower detail on it, which I love. And pink's her favorite color, so it was a win-win. And then I'm not sure how she's going to like the plastic feel of those flip-flops in her toes. So I saw these. They're only a dollar, and they're not my favorite. Like, the style on it isn't my favorite, the blue and stuff. But... It's not really going to be showing when she has them on all that much and it has the fabric ones so if she doesn't like those old navy ones she'll still at least have a pair that she could use instead and then also for a dollar i got her these sandals in really really good shape the bottom is there and they're pink sparkles so she absolutely loves those i think she actually squealed with delight when i showed her those and then these are my favorite shoes that I got for Quinn, and they were $4. But they have the fluffy flower detailing on them and the wrap around the heel strap. And they're going to be perfect because she can wear them with 
fancier stuff. She can also wear them with jeans and shorts. So those are going to be great. And last shoes for her, she grew out of her rain boots. So I grabbed her a pair for $3.50 and pink sparkles once again. So she's really excited about that. Okay, so now we're gonna do Quinn's clothes. And the first two things are gonna be her pajamas that I got for her. I was really looking for shorts, but they didn't have really many decently priced ones for the 3T size. So I did get her a dress one, but it's super cute and super lightweight, which is what I'm going for because it's for summertime. And then for $3, I found her this heart set of pajamas with the shorts on it as well. So that should be all she needs to get through the summer. She, they do have a few more, but like I said, we, we try to keep things minimal because we already have a hard time keeping up on laundry as it is. We don't need to add any more to it. Um, I love this sweater. I got a sweater for her just like I did for Bailey. This one's $3 and it has a squirrel and a fox on it and it has these super cute elbow patches. And it's a little bit big for her, but that's okay because she'll be able to wear it throughout the fall as well, which is perfect. And then she has outgrown all of her like hoodies, her lightweight hoodies. And she's actually been wearing Bailey's when she goes outside. So I grabbed her one and this is a Gymboree brand and it was $4. So it's got the hearts across the top and then the pink hood liner and then the rest is just gray but she loves pockets. Those are her thing, so she loves that. This is one of my favorite outfits for her. I mean, I love everything I got. I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't love it, so I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive, but I'm excited. Um, this is a $3 outfit set, and the first part's a tank top, which is just plain on the front, but then the back has this scrunch detail to it, and then this, I don't know if you can tell, but it's an open flap, so it's almost like a workout tank top. And then these are the pants that came with it and they have little butterflies on them. So for $3, I took it. I got her four dresses. They had a lot more dresses in her size to choose from. So for $4.50, I got her this Old Navy strappy dress. And I could even put a little cardigan with it and some leggings underneath and she could even wear it when it's a little bit cooler out. For $5, I got her this dress. The top looks like that. It's just striped with that flower detail on there. And then the belt and then a little jean colored skirt with white flowers on it. I love this one. This one is, yeah, this one's my favorite dress that I got for her. And it's the tank top, the jean tank top with the collar and buttons and then this is a bright it's hard to tell it's like a it's like a like a neon salmon color with white detailing fern detailing on it and that was four dollars and then for three dollars i got her just this basic little dress that she can use to play in for two dollars i got her these they're so cute so it looks like a skirt but it's actually shorts and it's a light blue color with dark blue, white and pink flowering detail on it. And then it has these cute little buttons here as well. So I just thought those were so adorable. She has a dark blue shirt that I got for her. She has a white shirt and she has a light pink shirt that I got for her as well. So she can pair that basically three different outfits with those shorts. Just like with Bailey's jeans, they were getting a little too short for her. Quinn's that way with sweatpants. So I grabbed her these Cat and Jack sweatpants for $3. And they're really lightweight. And they have this like gray and white striped weathered looking pattern to it. So those will be really perfect for her. She only has one pair of jeans. So I got her two as well. Um, these are Old Navy and they were $3. And then these are Jordash. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and they were only $2. And both of those have that adjustable waistband as well. 
Okay, getting into some shirts for her. For $2.50, I got her this t-shirt with this adorable little pocket on here. And it has the neon flowering detail. And then a little peekaboo hole here. And I love the little sleeve cups. It looks like they're folded in with the different color on it. This is the first thing I grabbed when I was there for her. And this was $3. She's learning her alphabet right now. And I thought that was really cute because I'm actually going to use it in our homeschool program. Um, if you're interested in what we do for homeschooling, I'll put a link in the description box down below to a video that I recently did kind of talking about how we schedule it and what curriculum we use. But she really loves this one. The whole pile is falling over. Okay, we're good. Okay, and then for $2.50, I got her this super lightweight cap sleeve shirt with a collar on it. Um... And that's a Carter's brand. I don't know what's my favorite that I got of hers, but this is close to being my favorite. This is $3 and it's a pink and white chevron um, three quarter sleeve shirt that's really flowy. So I'll probably pair that with some leggings, even some jean shorts, depending on how long it is on her. I haven't put it on her yet, so we will see. Um, this was a risky purchase, but I really like the shirt. So even if the skirt doesn't work, it's okay. It's Carter's brand and it was $4 and it's a yellow flowy shirt with little bird detailing and polka dots on it. And then it comes with a white skirt as well. So that's the risky part of the purchase, but if she stains it, she stains it and we still have the shirt, so it's okay. <laughs> And then I got Bailey the big sister thing, so I had to get a little sister one for Quinn. And this was only $1.50, you guys. This is so crazy. It's a Crazy 8 brand, and it looks like it was maybe worn once. Another t-shirt with cake, $1.50, so I grabbed that one because it's always good to have a few extra t-shirts. These are the last things I got, and I'm so excited about these. Um, they're their 4th of July outfits, and I couldn't find, like I said, there weren't a lot of skirts and dresses for Bailey's size. So I couldn't find a skirt that I loved that would match with this. So I'm going to look when I go back. But if I can't find one, I'll just probably put jean shorts with it. But I got these two shirts for the girls. So Bailey's says, that's my lady. And Quinn says, we go way back. And it has the Statue of Liberty on it. Um, for Quinn's, I'm going to pair it with this poofy skirt with white dots on it. So that will be a really cute for the July outfit. And then they still have from last year, these red, white, and blue sun hats that are adorable that we'll put with those as well. So I'm pretty excited about those ones. That was everything I got. There were a total of 63 items, which would easily have been probably 700 plus dollars um, if you bought those things brand new. Here's the long receipt. But I paid $238.76 is all. So that's an average of $3.44 per item. So I am so excited. That's amazing. And what's even better, I mentioned before in the video that I'll tell you now, is I actually got all this for free pretty much because we are selling items as well. And we ended up having 247 tags this year so even if only half of our items sold at the price that we have them at we will make more than what i just spent on their entire wardrobe so i have their entire summer wardrobe minus maybe a dress or two for bailey all of the shoes they need to get them through the summer and quinn's birthday present already on lockdown so I highly recommend you can check out the link in my description to go to their website and type in your zip code and see if there's a sale near you. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new or if you've been lurking watching these videos and just haven't clicked that subscribe button yet. It helps us tremendously to grow our channel and we appreciate it more than you know. Share this video on social media if there's anybody in your life who has young kids who you think could benefit from this sale and might just want to see a real world example of what you can get for how much. Remember to stay humble, be kind, and we will see you guys next time. Bye guys.